Shall we make sure I'm honest to ourselves by giving all praise to our Shem El Shai? Double honest plus of GMS and honesty, brothers that are doing the work in truth to our sincerity. So I'm gonna do a real quick one. Uh, this is a nice try. Uh, this flat conspiracy theories can't handle first ever 360 space video, basically proving what it is that everybody knows, and that is that the world is round. It is a sphere, and that's the way that the Lord um, that the Lord made it. Right, so all of these things that people get into, in fact, um, before I get that, um, let me get this real quick. Uh, there's a 12 and 12. Right, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 12 says, And further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books, there is no right, no end. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. Now, this is what happens when you start delving into other philosophies, you know, before you're grounded in this thing, right? You, you know, especially you're coming in. You ain't supposed to be looking into these other things, man, because you just get bugged out, right? You, when you haven't got no foundation, you know, you might be in, in this thing for a while, but if you haven't got a foundation, you might as well be a newborn babe. You know, because you're easily swaying and therefore you should just stick to the scriptures. Right? But you have a lot of guys that fell out because they had belief that the earth was flat. But, you know, the scriptures cut them, you know, and, you know, you know, we ain't wants to trust Esau, but, you know, the images cut them, man. You know, people have, have traveled the globe, you know, you've had many explorers and none of them have ever, uh, would you call it, you know, seen the edge of the world as, as, as these people say. Right, so this is Isaiah 40 and 22, says it is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth. Right, which is your answer to that, man. You know, the earth is a sphere. It says, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. Right, so you, you read the breakdown, right, it stretches out the heavens. You know, it's talking about the universe, we get the script, you know, the precepts there. And tempt to dwell to the different planets that we'll, we'll be dwelling because that's the thing, you know. Um, when we get in John 14 and 2, it says, In my father's house are many mansions, and those mansions are representative of, of the different planets that the Lord is going to give us, you know. And in, in the kingdom, you know, we're going to have a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of wives there for a lot of children, and so we're going to have to inhabit other planets. Which is one thing that Esau's been trying to do and do and do, but has not been successful in doing. Well, I will not be successful because he'll be destroyed first of all. Right. So uh, these are all the different planets that we'll be dwelling in, and many mansions will not. So I would have told you. So I go to prayer to prepare a place for you. Right. So this is this is what the Lord Yahweh is doing now, is preparing a place for us. You know, the kingdom the scriptures say, "No man, no eye hath seen." Right. What the Lord has prepared for us, and that, that is true, and then we're just gonna, you know, be amazed when we see it. Right? This is Ecclesiastes one and five. It says the sun also ariseth and goeth, uh, sun goeth down. So if it's arising, where, where is it arising from? You know, if, if it's a flat earth, where, where is it? Was it coming from over the edge? Right? There's always sunlight in one part of the world. Right. Every other uh, planet in the solar system is, is, is a sphere, but the Earth is different. Right, this is Isaiah 6 and 9. Says, and he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make the, and their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. Right, so now I'll bring this out because it's the Lord and people who have fallen for the flat earth. That just means the Lord has blinded you. The Lord didn't want you to get it. That's all. You, you just weren't part of the number. Right, this is John 15 and 16. It says, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. Right, the point there is, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Ye how shy. Right, basically, if, if you're of the elect that the Lord has ordained you, right, you have been chosen. Conversely, if you don't get it, that means you were meant to not get it. 
If your law is to be destroyed, that means you were ordained from the foundations of the earth to be destroyed, and that's it. You know, and if you're caught out by things like the flat earth, that's just the lot that the Lord had preordained for you. And you just got to eat it. Right, so the Lord's all you've been edified, shalom.